What up, everybody? T Biz here, and we've got some new Super 7 reaction figures from Halloween 2. Got Laurie Strode, which was played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and Michael Myers, who was, I guess, in this, what was played by. Forget his name. Forget the guy's name. Something Warlock or whatever. But yeah, it was uh, Dick Warlock. That's, that's kind of a funny name, but that's the guy who played him. And yeah, the synopsis is after failing to kill stubborn survivor Laurie played by Jamie Lee Curtis, and taking a bullet or six from former psychiatrist Dr. Sam Loomis, played by Donald Pleasance, Michael Myers, aka or played by Dick Warlock, has followed Lori to the Haddonfield Memorial Hospital, where she's been admitted from Myers' attempt on her life. The institution proves to be particularly suited to serial killers, however... <laughs> As Myers cuts, stabs, and slashes his way through the hospital staff to reach his favorite victim. Which, you find out that, uh, that Laurie Strode is pretty much Michael's sister. Or one of his sisters. And he's pretty much hell-bent on, you know, because I think he killed his sister before, so he wants to kill this one now. And she was adopted by another family, the Strode family. And yeah, she, it's pretty much uh, Laurie Myers, but it's Laurie Strode. Yeah, Michael's after her. He's hell-bent. And he seems more human than human. No pun intended. Uh, this, he's pretty much unstoppable through most of this movie. And it's it's pretty gnarly. It, it's a pretty cool movie. I thought there's parts of it that were kind of funny. Uh, like when they have the old couple... Um, I forget what they're doing. They're watching TV and the lady's making a sandwich. And then he steals the lady's knife. And then, you know, I think he kills her or whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's just... Uh, it's nuts. It's uh, there's a lot of, a lot of slashing and a lot of death, a lot of gunshots, a lot of fire, a lot of awesomeness. But uh, I'll shut up and we'll go ahead and check out these figures. And first, we'll check out Laurie Strode. This is pretty much Jimmy Lee Curtis, obviously. But here we go. Halloween two, the nightmare isn't over. They couldn't stop him. He's back. I love that font. Collect the tear with Michael and Laurie reaction figures. So that, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and rip her out. And here we have Lori, which is actually Michael Myers' sister, once again. She was just adopted by the Strode family. And she's pretty much has a, just a terrified look through the whole movie. She's pretty much just wandering around in a daze in the hospital. Because I guess she's like all doped up from her injuries and stuff. Probably on painkillers and whatnot. You can see there's her foot. It's been bandaged. I think she had a crack I think that was the doctor and the nurse lady said she had a crack there. And yeah, she's pretty much bruised up, bladed up, bandaged up, terrified, just like in the movie, and she's got a gun. I don't know if this is a gun she got from Dr. Loomis. I think that might have been might have been it. But yeah, ready to pop a cap into Michael Myers or her brother's booty. So yeah, that that there you go. <laughs> and next up we're gonna check out Michael Myers. This is the first one I've ever had. I don't have the original one that they did when uh, they came out with uh, years ago. So I wish I had him for comparison, but I don't. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, rip him out. And here's Michael Myers with all his nifty accessories. He's got the, like the butcher knife that he steals from the old lady while she's making sandwiches. He's got a syringe that he uses to kill the nurse in the hospital or one of the nurses. And he comes with a hammer too. So I could smash through stuff to get to Lori, to kill her. I'm coming for you. <laughs> and it's cool. He's got the bullet wounds from when Dr. Loomis shoots him. So that's really cool too. I, I like this, this version of this figure. And the plastic looks kind of neat too because it just has, uh, oh, I want to say a marbling. Not so much of a wash because it just looks like the plastic's just kind of got a weird marbling of its own. But yeah, this is this is awesome. This is an awesome figure. This is a great version. And yeah, he's just ready to do some damage. <laughs> this is awesome. These are, I'm, I'm stoked they actually came out with these. It's kind of weird because they shipped at two different times. I think the... Uh, I don't know why they did this unless it was just they were getting their stuff from their factories. But you could get the Michael Myers first. And then... They waited later in the week. I forgot what day it was later in the week. And then you could get Lori. So, yeah, that's just how it worked. But, yeah, this is awesome. I'm so glad to have these figures now. It's always cool 
it's one thing to get the figures you have them in package but i feel like once you actually open them up and start to check them out then they kind of come to life so to speak and, and that, that's really cool and one thing one helpful tip for anybody that gets this figure get a blow dryer like a hair dryer or maybe run it under like scalding hot water and it will stretch his hand out a little bit it'll get it loose so you can actually fit that syringe into his hand it helps a lot that's a nice helpful tip or obvious toy collector tip but really cool I'm, I'm stoked for these figures anyways that's my short little review and um there you go so if you like these figures i'm sure they're still available go ahead and uh, hit up super seven and snag them because i think they're worth it anyways thanks for watching y'all and uh, more reviews definitely on the way all right later